I told myself I'd never make one of these videos, but fuck it, this shit's just too good. No intro on today's video, I wanna go straight into the juicy stuff. But uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Austin Pace, 22 years old, uh, fitness trainer, entrepreneur, and this is my new YouTube channel. Now, if you clicked on this video, obviously I would assume that you have some type of background of this beef that went on just uh, last night from when I'm filming this video. And I honestly, I hate fitness industry or like YouTubers from the fitness world. I, I hate beef because usually it's so foo-foo and just feels very fake and not authentic and I don't know. But this one, this beef was definitely real and uh, it was pretty savage on both ends. Now what sucks is I am a fan of both of these people. I do have high amounts of respect for both of them. If you don't know who John Skywalker is, he's essentially like, I look at him as like a spinoff of Z's and like the whole aesthetic movement, has a great physique. And the reason that I and many people uh, tip our hats and respect him is because he is very open about his steroid usage, his marijuana usage, smoking cigarettes. Uh, he's very oddball, unorthodox in the fitness industry, but he's openly honest about it all. And then you got Grego Gallagher, which uh, you probably know more about him than you do John Skywalker simply because he reaches hundreds of thousands of people through his social media ads. I think he does a fantastic job. And the reason I respect him is because I do believe he is natural. He has built a good physique, a uh, great physique, and he is very strong. Now I found out about this beef from watching Greg O'Gallagher's story on Instagram, and this shit's just pure comedy. So to summarize, I guess the beef, it seems like it was started, initiated by John Skywalker. And from what Greg O'Gallagher said on his story, John's been kind of taking stabs at him and talking shit for like two years. I never really knew that, but I also don't follow John Skywalker as closely as I do Greg O'Gallagher. But apparently it seems that John Skywalker's angles of attacking Greg was just showing hate about how he thinks that his shit's a scam, his programs are cookie cutter, and his physique isn't even that good. And he does compare Greg's physique to his. And this is kind of pesky, but John Skywalker posted a picture on Instagram of Greg next to him and their physiques. And the whole caption was just a bunch of shit talking on Kino Body and Greg himself. And he fucking deleted it. I tried to screenshot it. Like I plan on screenshotting it to put it on this video, but literally he must have deleted it like 20 minutes, 30 minutes before I went to go get it. That's some uh, pesky bullshit. And from my understanding, it was that post that John Skywalker posted on Instagram that brought out Savage Greg and made him decide to uh, start firing shots back at John and that's where shit just blew up. But if you looked at Greg's story, my damn, it was so freaking long, but it was just pure comedy and entertainment. He explains in detail his side of the story and pretty much everything he commented on John's post. And I'll let Greg O'Gallagher take it over from here. So I'm gonna make this video once and then we're gonna close the subject. The guy's been hating on me and I always ignore it. I don't like to get involved in this stuff. And he went at it again last night and uh, I've decided to pull out the trunk card, which was basically last winter I was in LA and I was there for a shoot and this girl DM me, I'm not gonna tell her name, and we were hanging out and then she kept bringing up her ex-boyfriend, he's crazy, calling her like, like a crazy amount of times and turned out it was this guy. And so his girlfriend, we had a nice week together. Um, we did hook up. Um, and so when he's been hitting on me, I just rubbed it in his face. I was like, fuck, like, fuck off. Like, dude, knock it off. Um, <laughs> say what you want, but I banged your ex-girlfriend. Thank you for all the new followers, John. I must've got hundreds of messages of people telling me they found my content, they dig it, they like it. Probably new customers too. Um, so I do appreciate that. So the point was, I ignored this drama, this hate for a long time. I like to focus on just helping people, providing value. And then last night I was like, fuck it. Kino, the Kino Savage is coming out. Um, Cause sometimes you just gotta do that. And if you don't believe that I actually hooked up with his ex-girlfriend, well, I actually put a playlist on my story and you can clearly see that we're together. Um, you can clearly see that we're holding hands and that was the day after we had already um, hooked up and I would never ever lie ever about lying about hooking up with a girl That's like the most pathetic thing ever. Oh, and the story gets even better The way she found me was her cousin got really good results on Kino body so She was like this guy's really inspiring. Let me follow him and then she liked me and she messaged me So it's a double when I bang your girl and your girl your girl she found me because 
of a testimonial of my program. My program works. And I get the girl. Like I said, pure comedy. I honestly believe that whole story to be true. I think Greg's pretty authentic and I don't think he would lie about that. And the fact that John Skywalker deleted his post pretty much secures the bag for Greg in my opinion. Now my favorite part about this whole ordeal is the fact that Greg used this opportunity and all this new attention he was gaining from John Skywalker's fans to literally literally make fucking bank. He threw up a discount code of 50% off of all of his courses on Kino Body, and the code's name was John Skywalker, and it was technically for John Skywalker, but anyone could use the code, and it was also available to use on his pre-workout Kino Octane for 30% off. I will hook you up though, with a 50% off discount for the Warrior Shredding, we're gonna get you off the juice, get your, your normal level headed back, we're gonna ditch the cigarettes and get you drinking Octane. I'm gonna send you some Octane. We're gonna get you to Kino Warrior lifestyle and no more being a c mm. <sighs> Savage Greg. It's too much. Okay, I gotta stop. Thank you, John Skywalker, because I've actually been waiting for him to put a discount on that for a while. But it's just crazy, you know, off those sales, he was showing it on his Instagram story. He pretty much brought in like $50,000 of revenue just from that beef, literally just from people using that code. If anything, this just proves how powerful cross promotion is and just how much the world is changing. Like this beef was happening in real time. This wasn't on television. People were experiencing this in real time. And Greg being a smart businessman saw this as an opportunity to gain new customers, to give a discount to people who are on his side and are backing him up. There's a lot of motion involved in this. So anyone who really backs up Greg and is really, you know, sucking and his weighing is definitely going to take advantage of those discount codes and i think from an outsider's perspective someone like me who respects both dudes i definitely would take greg's side in this whole situation and i really do believe that a lot of john skywalker's fans probably turned into grego gallagher or kino warrior fans so grego gallagher you took the dub with this pretty easily and in a savage manner my intuition tells me that john skywalker definitely realizes and understands he took the l i mean he deleted the freaking post but according to greg john skywalker himself actually bought kino octane and a program don't know if that's true but that's what greg said on his story and from just watching his videos and seeing john's demeanor i really don't think he gives that much of a damn let's be honest the dude is making bread he's living the lifestyle that he wants to live and he's probably just smoking a J with his buddies laughing this shit off now although i do respect greg and i think kino body the direction of it what it has done is very genius and awesome he has done one thing to me personally which is pretty bullshit in my opinion. So this is a true story about four years ago is when I found Greg on YouTube and I was searching boxing videos and it was like old ass videos of him in his basement, like shadow boxing or whatever. And that's how I found out about Greg. At that time, I was the heaviest I've ever been in my life and I was looking to diet down and start tracking my macros. And at that time when I saw his video, I started watching some of his other videos and he really was the first person to ever introduce intermittent fasting to me. Now I was able to grasp the concept of intermittent fasting uh, pretty quickly. I understood it. it made sense to me. It was nothing special, but I did give it a try and sure enough, it worked for me a lot. Over two years of dieting and lifting and using intermittent fasting and throwing in some reverse pyramid training like Greg likes to do, I was able to make this transformation. So early last summer, I slid into Greg's DMs on Instagram and I sent him a picture of my transformation and I told him that I found him on YouTube uh, several years ago, told him he was the first person to ever uh, teach me intermittent fasting. And I'll put it up on the screen, but I told him that you know the methods he was teaching, such as intermittent fasting, reverse pyramid training, was part of the equation which helped me make this transformation happen. I thought I made it clear and never once did I ever say I used one of his programs, bought one of his programs or anything. I simply said I watched his free advice on YouTube and that is how I made this transformation happen. So anyways, within like five minutes of his response to that transformation I sent him, uh, I got a notification on Instagram and he posted my transformation on his Instagram account. Now obviously this is a win-win for both of us. He gets to showcase uh, my transformation and say that you know it's through his methods that he teaches, which is true. And for me and my Instagram account, I get exposed to all of his followers and I did gain like 
between like 200 to 400 followers from that post. Now I thought this was hilarious. I was just scrolling through all the comments and I was getting many DMs of people asking what program I used. So I did my best to respond to every single person who asked that question and told him I did not use any of his programs. I never bought anything. I simply just followed the free advice that he was teaching on YouTube at the time. And what's so funny is like people just had the hardest time believing that or it just amazed them. Like, dude, this shit is common sense. Intermittent fasting, reverse pyramid training, it's fucking common sense. But everything I just told you leads up to something that happened recently, which does piss me off uh, with Gregor Gallagher. About a month ago, he started hyping up a video he's gonna post on YouTube about a full day in the life of the Greek God Physique program. Now, I didn't plan on watching it, but when the video did launch on YouTube, he posted a snippet of the video on his Instagram account. And when he did that, I got many DMs sent to me of people being like, bro, you're in Keto Body's new video, did you see it? So after I had a handful of people tell me that, I went over to his Instagram account, I watched the video, and I just completely like lost some respect for Gregor Gallagher. All right, all right, I just woke up and today is gonna to be really special. I'm gonna take you through a day in the life of my Warrior Shredding program. And this is the program that I use when I wanna get really lean and chiseled, have that perfect muscle definition. So a lot of my clients, they've used this program to go from skinny fat to really lean, to go from soft and bulky to have that really hard chiseled look that you see on the movie screens. And he made it clear that the transformations he showed were people who bought and used the program and I didn't know any of the other people. They, they probably could have, or maybe not, but I did not, and that shit pissed me off. So as much as I do want to believe, and I do think that Greg is very authentic and genuine with what he says, that was a complete, complete lie. And it really sucks for me because I do respect Greg and Kino Body and I, I love what he's doing and it's pretty inspiring as far as the business aspect because I'm trying to grow my own business. But man, that shit's just disappointing. I'm very proud of my transformation and I worked my ass off for it. And when I see it compared to other Kino Body's transformations, I personally think it's one of the best. But never once, not once, did I ever buy or use one of his programs. Now I'm not losing sleep over this. I just had to address that. There was a lot of people who asked me if I was ever gonna say anything about it. And I mean, what am I gonna do? There's nothing I'm gonna be able to do. I really don't care a whole lot, but you just gotta know, Greg, that that was such a peasant ass move and uh, you knew I didn't use one of your transformations, but it is what it is, whatever. And with that, I wanna wrap up this video by saying that Kino Body and all of his programs are nothing, nothing special. You just gotta understand that his marketing, his production, his ability to reach people, his team is so much better literally so much better than any other person or fitness company out there and they are just finally getting people to spend their money and try something that is common sense and that would work for anyone i still respect greg i respect kino body i wish the best for him but that is my transformation that is my transformation i mean i honestly was doing reverse pyramid training even before he taught me it so really all that bastard did was just teach me how to skip breakfast you haven't already subscribed to my channel leave this video a thumbs up comment below let me know are you team greg team john do you like kino body what are your thoughts i'll see you all in the next video have a good one